what some prophetic events that are about to roll out because i was in my trance is a revelatory hour and i saw the remaining half of the year things that are about to play out no matter how gloomy it may look i come always as a prophet to tell you that nothing will take you at all ways amen you will not cry amen, amen. you will not shed tears amen, amen. In case there are doubters and Thomases that doubt our prophetic revelation, as at a mid, as at as it is media, we should be playing from January till now. We should be playing our fulfilled prophecies. But time wouldn't permit me to play all of the fulfilled prophecies. They are always there on social media. We talked about Abia State. We talked about River State. Talked about. The fire at Lagos, we talked about the explosion in Portacourt, we talked about governors, the election, those who are in seat, and things that are playing out. So we don't have time to be playing them again. But God gave me things to reel out that is about to happen in the remaining part of 2024. Remaining part that's July to December. And I want to say this number one, I see a reverse based agitator kicking the bucket between now and December. There's a reverse-based agitator. A man. I don't need to call names. But there is nothing prayer cannot do. Yes, sir. Because as I'm talking to you, hear me and hear me well. As I'm telling you, he needs prayer. He needs serious prayer and agitator. Sometimes we'll send the messages to them if we can. But I don't call names because that there is an agitator in River State that is about to wave goodbye because of the series of events that are going to play out. It may appear as a health issue that may not be unraveled to the public, but I can tell you that he needs serious prayer. And when once he beckons on God, God is always there to answer us. He's always there to answer. And when he prays, I pray that the mercy of God will answer. Amen. Because we don't prophesy doom for anyone. We don't prophesy death to anyone. We only say what is about to happen. So it will channel the way we pray. And pray out those disasters. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. I see the president of North Korea about to hit a fate calendar. His, the name is always difficult for me to pronounce. North Korea. I see him near the fate calendar. A political tussle may come out between now and December that will destabilize his government. I'm telling you the truth. Apart from political destabilization of the government, I see him as a human being about to kick the bucket too. And watch out for explosions in North Korea. Unforetold explosions from left, right, center because of this political unrest because i see it plain as vividly it like it's happening in uh, egypt some egypt part of egypt that are having war with the uh, palestinian and israel but i see something like this spreading in north korea and i can tell you with all clearness that the innocent ones in north korea need prayers too in the remaining second half of 2024 you know when we talk like this we know they fear to put them online you know some people give prophecy and say keep it first let's see whether it will happen as we are talking is already there because i am sure of what i heard and what i saw yes sir. and this is not to brag because i usually say that the day i brag may god blind my eye not to see again i don't take the glory he shows and it happens i see a well-known footballer waving goodbye well celebrated footballer when they mention the name you know waving goodbye and it's such an untimely demise but god can intervene this Amen. i'm asking somebody now yes sir god can intervene before something happens god usually give a warning sometimes you might embark on a journey and he sees a crash ahead he sees evil ahead sometimes your trouser may tear sometimes your leg may hit somewhere sometimes somebody may insult you in your house to delay you he says, see this one, see this one. God is trying to use the elements around you to make you sustain, your life sustained on the universe. But sometimes we become so blind that we don't know why those things are happening around. You still force yourself out. 
may we be sensitive to sickness in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see a pastor that dances so well in Nigeria. There are plenty of them. In case you are guessing, you may guess wrong. Many pastors dance so well in Nigeria. So in case you are guessing, you may guess wrong. I know what I saw. I know who I saw. And I'm praying for the person. And the prayers of the saints covers the person. Yes, sir. So I said, I saw a pastor in my trance who dances so well in Nigeria. I pray may God protect him. Amen. And I see him in an unpleasant news bringing out from the social media. Unpleasant, so unpleasant. It's bringing out from the social media. That wants to incapacitate, incapacitate his ministry. But God in his mercy, who said that the gate of hell shall not prevail against the church, will fight for him. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, yes sir. sir. These are the things I'm seeing about to reel out and play out like films, like movies in this end time of the year 2024. I see a former president who lost his wife on seat needing urgent prayer. This former president lost his wife when he was on seat. Him himself in his remaining six months needs prayer. Whenever I come out like this to say this, I have already, already prayed on my own. And I used to tell you that when prophetic events happen after we pray, it is because they would have happened more deadlier than it happened. But the prayer reduced its impact. The newly revised LGA Kiatika committee that we are sworn in must be prayerful. I see about two of them kicking the bucket before this year is over. They must be prayed. Oh my God. When it comes to reverse state, I'm careful. This is my state. So you don't say, you don't tell the NJ it's a mistake because some things we say, they happen. So I am saying it like, I'm not saying that it must happen. I say, I see so that God can still cancel it. Yes, sir. So there's a room for cancellation. I'm not saying it must happen, but that is what I saw. Two of them, it will come as a fight, a serious battle. It will go to the, to the locality and it will spread to the health. It is not natural. It is spiritual. It is what? No be everything I want to talk for social media. The better if if I put you for office now, you, you don't go pray before you enter the office. I leave it there. I see the blockage of River State Government House entrance, the major entrance. I see the blockage. What I'm saying is between now and the year end. But God will intervene. Amen. As a church, we decree that God will intervene. Amen. Because I'm, I'm talking to you, I see a serious, serious blockage of that entrance. It was as if no going in, no coming out. So, beloved, I believe you heard what Pastor Mike Miracle has to say concerning the nation of Nigeria and also South Korea. He has a lot to say in this video what is about to happen from now to the end of the year what god showed him first of all it talks about river state as you all know river state is there is a big problem there as we speak we used to be care for barra and then some other criticals and local government chairmen and all those things a lot is having like they're having a lot of problem and all these fights even to the point that I think that was last two weeks, I mean last week, some people went to break down uh, Nyesowiki statues from their, I think that is from their government house. So, so many things are happening in River State that we need to pray for River State so that there will be peace there and the will of God will be carried out. And if you are assigned to office, like he said, please do it to pray it's not everything you just take for granted it's not everything that you see and you see oh nobody can do me nobody can fight me before you know see i i respect those that go into politics in as much as a lot of our politicians are corrupt and all that so politics is not it's not a child's play it's a dirty game and if you want to play it you need to get your hands and leg in the mud so let's pray for them so that nothing happened to them let the will of god in their life be carried out whatever assignment they are assigned to office let them carry it out successfully and peacefully 
nobody would die from now to the end of the year so when i came across this prophecy i just say let me come and share it with you guys for you to have an insight what is about to come to nigeria and also south korea so let's pray let's put these people in our day-to-day prayer in our activities so that nothing happens to them because so many things are happening left and right back and forth in nigeria already and also african um let's just pray that the peace of god dwells in these places he has mentioned let's also put south korea in our prayer i know that a lot of people say that it doesn't consign us we have our own problem already we have enough on our plate so so why are we going to pray for these people so so many things will come up but these are human beings living them so god has shown him something let's pray that those things doesn't come to pass because it's only a good thing for something bad to happen to a nation because what israel gaza are going through right now it's not an easy tax honestly war is not something you pray for war is not something you even wish upon your enemy to the point that everybody has to stop whatever they are doing in israel to become soldiers and and a whole lot of things that is just going on but i pray that the will of god be carried out and let's pray so that these things doesn't come to pass then the man of god went further to talk about a popular footballer that when they mention his name you know him that he's going to kick the bucket and i begin to wonder i begin to just ask myself i was very confused because we have a lot of footballer um the world at large within africans that are making names for their self so because if you remember that was hard last year for very one Ghanaian popular footballer that based overseas died during the earthquake that happened so i was just praying that nothing of such should happen because that is not something that we should see or hear about it should be as far away from us as possible so let's pray let's pray so that nothing happens to any popular footballer or happen to any popular person because sometimes you may be seeing this it's all it will be the opposite that will happen so let's put all these popular people that grace our skin um uh, the screen of our televisions and make us happy laughters and all those things let's just pray that nothing no harms come to them nothing of such happens to them let's put everything in the hands of god and keep on praying for nigeria as a nation then the man of god also went further to say that an ex-president that lost his wife when he was on seat i believe the name immediately he said an ex-president that lost his wife that is the uh, president of the federal republic of nigeria but a past president that has ruled before so a lot of name came to mind because a lot of presidents they lost their wife during when they were on seat when they were on power and all those things so let's pray for them let's pray for them so that nothing happens to them no harm comes to them because that is not something you wish upon human being but since he has seen it we pray that god divert it through the means of prayer and interceding interceding for them at the end of the day because i don't want anybody to lose his life especially as you all know we are getting almost to july already because today it's 28th of um june 2024 before you know we have started the half the six months of the year and before you know it's here which day did we enter new year which day did we enter january last january february march april may june so the time is running the clock is ticking everything is just happening too 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 fast so let's put these people in our prayer so that no harms come to them so that the will of god over their life be carried out and that is not something you wish your fellow human being for those that will say let them die i'm gonna these people have done more harms than good in our nation in our continent in the world let's pray for them because it's not something you wish upon your fellow human being because it could be the other way what if you are the one that were in that situation and you are the one that that thing is going to happen would you ask people to pray for you if you know that something bad was going to come your way won't you ask people to pray for you so that it doesn't happen to you so that it doesn't come to you so 
I just felt like we really need to pray at this point. Honestly, crossing into the second half of the month, we need to put it in prayer, even without the man of God telling us to pray. We need to pray for our family, ourselves, our business, our activities, our loved ones across the world, wherever they are, our family members. Let's put them in in our day-to-day prayer as we are crossing into the remaining half of the year so that no harm comes to them, no evil plans come to their life, any agenda of the enemy over their life be cancelled. Just commit them into your day-to-day prayer so that the will of God over their life be carried out. Nobody will cut their life short because it's not easy to start January. It's not even easy to start the first day of January because a lot of people started it. They couldn't see the end of that particular day. They couldn't see the end of that month, that week. But our case is different, that of our family and loved ones. So let's do it to pray. Let's pray because they say who life is given should be thankful for it. So let's pray that we are alive, we are in the sanctuary, not in the mortuary at this point. Because remaining half of the year, let's commit it into the hands of the Lord. Let the will of God over our life be carried out in Jesus' mighty name forever. God declare over our life we will surely fulfill it in the mighty name of Jesus. And we will see this year from beginning quarter half to the end because God has promised us that we should come to it and dominate and that is what we are going to do at the end of the day. Let's pray. Let's put the remaining what uh, half of the year into the hands of the Lord. Let's commit everything into his hands. Let's commit our activities into his hands. Let's commit our agenda into his hands. Let's the will of God over our life be carried out. Anybody that plans evil against us, he will use his hands to carry those evil. Anybody that wishes us dead, that person will be the one to die in our place. Anybody that dipped any pit over our life, those people are the one that is going to fall into those pits. Let's give ourselves words of the um, declaration every morning. Let's commit this because it's, it's a tough battle. If you know those that are gone, you will not say that you are special or because you are beautiful, because you are fair, because you have money. That is why God is preserving your life. No, it's because His mercy is sufficient enough. So pray that that mercy is sufficient enough for you and your family from now to the end of the year. So guys, that's just it. Thank you very much for watching this video. You're blessed. And that is what I just said. Let me come here and share with you guys. Please do it to subscribe, comment, like, share with family and friends. And if this is your first time coming across our channel for the very first time, please subscribe and be part of this lovely family. Thank you very much for watching this video. God bless you. As you do that, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now, guys. Mm-hmm.